Number one is Slate Run Magic, owned by Parker, Massey, Ferguson, and Parker, the driver, Bill Long, Jr. For post two, it's Ab Falcon, owned by Raymond Kenny, with Dave Hawk. Three is Max Gwen, owned by Turbulent Air, Inc., with Jeff Nysonger. Four, Sandy Sandy, owned by Charles E. Brown, and he drives. Five is Remember Sabra, owned by William Robinson and Dave Klotz, Mark Klotz, the driver. Six is Trip Trap, owned by Terry Green, with Jack Daly. Seven, Look at the Sissy, owned by Richard Long, and with Chip Noble in the bike. Eight is Plainfield, she's owned by Thomas Carroll and driven by Jamie Dunlap. Dr. Vinyl is number nine, owned by Richard Householder with Jeff Fount. And the ten is Justin's Countess, owned by Reveille Jade Stable, the driver Burke Lyons. That's your field, six minutes to post for race one. Phillies and mares for the first race are approaching the start. And they're off. Ab Falcon leaves in tandem with Sandy. Sandy up close between horses is Max Gwen. Three deep driving up. Look at the sissy. And then we have Slate Run Magic who comes away in fifth. Three lengths off the lead. Up alongside is Dr. Vinyl. Gap of two more to Justin's Countess. Followed by Remember Sabra. Two and a half farther back to Trip Trap and Plainfield. Is last as they move to head stretch. Look at the sissy and Chip Noble drive on to the lead. They clear off and lead it by two lengths now. Past the opening quarter in a swift 28 seconds flat. Passing the stands for the first time. Look at the sissy. Makes the pace in here from Ab Falcon in second. Sandy Sandy caught on the outside. Left uncovered in third position. Max Gwen from the inside. Fourth. Dr. Vinyl fifth. Slate Run Magic rushing up to catch cover in sixth position. And then we come down to Justin's Countess from Ember Sabra. Trip Trap and Plainfield is last. About nine off the pace setter. Look at the sissy. It's look at the sissy on top from Ab Falcon second. Stalled between horses is Sandy Sandy, and up three wide, Slate Run Magic off a half in 59 seconds flat. Max Gwen down along the rail is completely hemmed in in fifth position as Slate Run Magic drops back in to race second over. Then we come down to Dr. Vinyl, who has some traffic problems. Trip Trap is rallying from the back of the pack. In between horses, Remember Sabra is getting backed up to last, followed by Justin's Countess, and rallying on the extreme outside is Plainfield. They're approaching three quarters. Look at the sissy leads the way. Been the perfect trip for Ab Falcon in second. Sandy Sandy has yet to see the rail, followed by Trip Trap, who's still got four to make up, and Plainfield has made headway into fifth but still has four to make up on the leader, 129 and one. And we have a horse down on the track, a horse down on the track just before the three quarters. Moving through the stretch, look at the sissy, leads the way by a length. Ab Falcon closing along the rail, followed by Sandy Sandy, still there on the outside. Trip Trap is fourth. Ab Falcon short lead, Sandy Sandy still closing. Sandy Sandy gets up after being parked the mile. Then it was time for second, Ab Falcon or Trip Trap. Sandy Sandy back to the winner's circle. She's a three-year-old Bay Philly by Dragon's Lair out of Almahurst Sandy by Beach Towel, owned, trained, and driven by Charles E. Brown of Richwood, Ohio, 159 and three. It's official, no change in the order. Board two on the exact, it was $146.60. The try four two six nine hundred twenty six dollars even.